Hey guys, it's Gummo with a, another Warhammer Battle Report. This time it's my Orc and Goblins versus uh, my own Empire Army. Uh, my mate came around and um, took up my Empire and I pulled out my new work in progress Orc and Goblins. Uh, some of the figures are quite old, some of them new, and many are unpainted. It's just a work in progress, but I wanted to get them on the table, so uh, let's get on with it. So for the Orc Army, um, which you wouldn't have seen from mine, but it's pretty stock standard, I guess. Uh, I got a Black Orc war boss with the uh, four up ward and sort of striking. Uh, Savage Orc level four with the shrunken head fences blades. Level two Night Golem Shaman. Uh, I think he added a spell scroll. Goblin BSP just with a four up ward up, ward save. Uh, got one special character, Gatilla the Hunter, with five wolf boys. The big block of Savage Orc biggins. Uh, six trolls, 20 Night Goblin with nets just as a bunker. Two fanatics in there. Double Mangler Squeak, uh, two boar. Chariots, a pump wagon uh, with that sail and the uh, some other upgrade, <laughs> the Tomb Doom Vibers, and a rock lover. Uh, my friend was playing my Empire Army, which we have seen in the tournament lists that I just posted. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll go through that. You can probably read it if you're interested, or if, you, if you've seen my other reports, you probably know what's in it. Um, just for it was sort of a last minute game, so I didn't bother changing anything. For magic though, uh, yeah, good good choice. We ended up with Itch and Nuisance and Curse of the Bad Moon for the Goblin, and the Orc ended up with Brain Burster. Here we go, Hand of Gork, Foot of Gork. So I guess those three are the ones you want. Light Magic, he got Speed of Light and Baronas, which are probably the best for him, uh, plus Shems and Fars Protection. I'll just apologise for some of the dark pitches as well. I didn't notice up to about six or seven pitches in that I didn't have the flash on. <laughs> so, and yeah, where we're playing in my house is a bit dark in the corner. So, sorry about that. Hopefully, you can, you can still see. Um, we rolled for terrain. Uh, those two out on the left, the swamp and the arcane ruins, there had some special effects, but we didn't end up going near them at least to use them. So, waste of time <laughs> marking them like I did there. Deployment. So I've got two board chariots on the left and a mangler. Um, the pump wagon there as well. So you know, they're going to try and go up and take on some uh, demigriffs and some artillery if they get around there. <laughs> um, there's also a doom diver at the back there on the back of the board. The centre I have my trolls to the left, the big block of savages with my war boss and a level 4 in there. The bunker at the back. Rock lobber over there on the right and the mangler behind the hill. And then the Doom Diver on the hill with the Wolf Boys out there on the flank. And for his deployment on his right and my left, he had the uh, archers out there that'll just come up and chaff things, I guess. He had the Demis, the Hell Blaster, Inner Circle Knights with the General and the War Elder behind there. Or the Arch Lector, but General the, the General for the army. Cannon out the back. Straight up cross from the walls, he had the uh, put his block of halberds with the hurricane behind him and then the peg and the steam tank out to on the other flank. Vanguards, um, yeah I just pretty much moved 12 inches forward, I mean I wanted to sneak around the side. Dumb move as you'll soon see. <laughs> so Empire uh, win the turn to go first. He generates enough steam points, just plows straight into the wolf boys so my converted Gatilla to Hunter probably won't get much game time. Not much movement on this flank. The uh, arch is just moving up just to try to get in the way at some point. And he marches the halberds up trying to get behind that wall with the hurricane and following him. Blurry shot and dark, so hopefully we'll get that fixed soon. And there we go, let there be light. So uh, I found the flash. Uh, the peg. Uh, Captain just flies over the back of them, um, just to start getting around behind me. That's where he is. Oh, and there, there you go, you can actually see. I took a few shots of, with the flash, just so you can see what was happening. Uh, so, uh, Magic Phase, it was a 6-4. to four. Um, He tried Fars on the uh, Demis. I was just saying that, you know, probably best thing, I'm probably going to go for them the most. And at least gives them a 4-plus chance of not getting hit. Um, but I, I stopped that. Um, he did get shems off on the trolls. I don't even think it caused a wound. And the archers 
the only thing they could shoot with the trolls and didn't do anything either. It's pretty uneventful. Cannon hit my rock lobber and then rolled a one to wound. So yeah, that was good for me. So the only thing you could see was my rock lobber too. You couldn't see my doom divers where they were. Um, the stank does uh, eight impact hits. Dead wolf riders. So orcs. Um, up, well now I'm down to only two units that could actually have animosity, and one of them's got a black orc in it, so doesn't really play much part here. So no animosity. My uh, boar chariots and the mangler move over the left. Pump wagon pumps its way over there, and the trolls follow up a little bit. Oh, they do have one wound. So it looks like the uh, cannon or something may have put one wound. Ah, oh, Shem, uh, Shem's probably did put one wound on on one of the trolls there. So the center just moves up, I just march as quick as I can. I'm I'm happy to get into combat, I think. At least that's my goal. See how good these savages are. I haven't actually used them. And yeah, not much movement. I think my mangler just jumped onto the hill. That was about it. Uh magic ended up six to six. Um I six diced foot. Um, and he dispels it. <laughs> didn't want any part of that. So I didn't roll enough to get a miscast. Uh, into shooting, though, I did actually delete a demigriff with a Doom Diver. So that was good. And my right hand Doom Diver decides to misfire and blues itself up. The old school 4th, 5th edition Doom Divers there. Stripped and painted, though, of course, repainted. <laughs> um, lock, rock lobber, I put a rock lobber on the uh, halberds. Actually, it scattered, t uh, only had two inches, I think. It was actually, no, it didn't scatter, it was hit. Hit 21 of them, uh, killed about 11 or 12, which I guess is about right. Needing fours to hit, and six saves. So, yeah, I smashed the back rank off the 50 of them, which is good. And then we go to Empire Turn 2, his tank moves around, um, trying to get a shot on the other Doom Diver, and if he comes up short, he'll just wipe out a few savages and stuff. His archers declare a charge on the pump wagon. And yeah, they easily make it in. My peg rider um, flew over the top of my rock lobber, but then we remembered, whoop, fanatics, so we, had to, we just stopped him at the 8 inch mark. And I debated what to do, but I said, look, I'll just, uh, strength five versus toughness seven on my rock lobber. There's not much worry to my rock lobber. So I shoot, shot them straight through my rock lobber, straight through him. Um, just hoping I can get some wounds and I only ended up getting one wound on him. Uh, the fanatics ended up hitting each other and blowing themselves up. So one wound, which is good. Magic was seven to four. Um, look, he went for Broners. I scrolled it. I, I'm... I want to get in combat next round, I don't want any buffs on him. Uh, and then he, remaining dice, tried speed of light and I was able to dispel it with my remaining dice. So he's debuffed. Looks, now but he's look pretty good there, I thought. Uh, the Hell Blaster, yeah, look, if I could sum up this game, I was awesome on leadership checks and his artillery was awesome. So. It unloads, uh, was that, 22 shots onto the uh, trolls, wipes out two of them and leaves a wound, one or two wounds on, on another one. That was good for him. They, they weren't actually there. Let me just get back to that. I just moved up for the shot because I must have taken a picture. That's actually next turn. They're not actually in combat right when they get shot. Uh, he's cannon misfires, so it was good. Couldn't, can't shoot this turn or next. Um... With this combat, yeah, it was, you know, he killed, put a wound on me, I put a wound back on him, I'm unbreakable, because uh, he won with the charge, so it was nothing. So going into Orkham turn two, uh, Orkham Goblin turn two, no no animosity, my trolls charge, obviously past their stupidity. Um, I get a double charge off on the damage with the chariots, I needed uh, seven and eights, I think, to get in, but they both get in, which is great. And even though I wrote 
calling, uh, call, remembering, like I wrote a note to myself to remember to call WAGs when I charge <laughs> my general. And I forgot. Um, would have been good here. Anyway, so I charge in. I mean, I'm a bit worried about the uh, stank being so close, but I'm figuring, look, let's just, get, you know, it's, we don't want a long game. <laughs> I'm figuring he's going to probably delete at least some of my orcs there, if not a whole rank. Um, so that'll make the steam tank a little bit further away. But I'm, look, I'm hoping I'm breaking his steadfast. I think I can nail enough of them so I've got more ranks than him. In that case, hopefully I can, you know, break him. It's a bit of a risk, but, you know, orcs are brave. The gobbo's with reform to just take shots. I mean, he's got a one-up rerollable, but I thought, hey, you're not doing anything else. I probably should have pivoted more because I should have had the foresight to think he is going to charge my Doom Diver. And, of course, he gets out of my arc when he does that. So, yeah, so, yeah I don't do anything on him. Uh, magic's 12 to 6. <clears throat> so I um, first threw Itchy Nuisance on the stank because he dispelled it. I um, was just hoping that I could get that off so he couldn't, well, lose some dice pivoting. Um... I get here we go off infinitely, uh, whatever it's called, with a mess cast, didn't do too much damage to myself. And the remaining dice I tried foot um, on the hurricane and buddy dispels it. So there we go, we get uh, here we go off, which is definitely what we need in combat there. Because I'm attacking over the, the wall too. Oh yeah, so here's the archers again. Look, I don't do any wounds to him. <laughs> um, shooting uh, my Doom Diver is aimed at his... Hurricane, maybe? Uh, I can't remember. Sorry, I've missed a shot of it. Um, but I misfired and did the skidding one, so it actually clipped my Savage Orcs and killed one or two of them. My Rock Log Bar scattered into the War Altar, but he watered it. So yeah, I mean, this is... This was good. My um, chariots took out three wounds on a demi, so killed one. Got one wound back, but um, yeah, beat him by two plus charges plus a rear a flank. So, and he was outside. He's within tw 18 inches of the general, but not of the battle standard, so he breaks and I knock, uh, run him down. Um, in this combat, the archers killed my pump wagon, but my trolls obviously destroyed his archers. I mustn't have killed them all, so they ended up fleeing. This is what sucks. Um, center to center, sent them off that way. My mangle was in the way, so my trolls run into the mangler, it blows up. Yeah, my trolls are way out of position, out of my general's arc, and point in the wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, really should look at that a bit more and then in combat yeah we went to towns I, uh, the halberds did take off a rank killed 10 of my orcs I uh, killed 28 halberd is in return um, yeah they're on snake eyes even with their hold the line I, had, I broke their steadfast so yeah they run I ran them down not far enough to get into his hurricane though he must have rolled pretty pretty low for both pursuit and flee. So Empire turn three, he uh, declares a charge with his peg onto my Doom Diver. And easily makes it, obviously. And yeah, charges close, charges the inner circle into there, the Hurricaneum, the uh, War Altar comes in. And at this point I'm thinking, I thought I had this pretty easy and this is going to be <laughs> quite tough you sort of yeah uh, thinking one step ahead instead of two or three then the stank easy makes it too he, he he didn't misfire that well he does misfire it later but yeah he had good luck with his war machines um so he had three steam points for movement and he ended up one with the steam gun not that it would do much and yeah he makes it in obviously just some shots, past his dangerous terrain over that wall as well. So these uh, savages are in for a world of hurt. Some close shots there. Uh, that's the other side of my boar chariots when they overrun. 
Um, so the only thing is Cannon could see in shooting out. So, yeah, Magic, I can't remember what happened there, but anyway, he's, uh, Cannon takes out that Doom Diver. This, the Hellbuster pivots to the, and looks at the closest one, uh, Chariot, deletes it. And in the combat, um, I declare a challenge out, you know, he's only got, there's no champions in those inner circles, so he has to accept with his general, so it's going to be general on general. We actually trade wounds there. I get a wound on him, he gets one on me. And yeah, we, we got pretty pulverised. I think we, we lost a fair few with impact hits and all that. At the end of the day, we, um, I think I needed a six or lower. I'm just looking at what's left in that. Just trying to work out it if I would have been steadfast or not. But anyway, yeah, uh, whatever for the game anyway. We think we needed a six or lower. Uh, my BSB is out of range, so I needed to make that, and I rolled a five. <laughs> so that that kept me in it. Ah, yeah, these the ten. I've got the ten up mark there. So he has. He's wiped out my whole back rank and into my second rank. So I've only got one full rank. He's got one full rank with his inner circle, so we're not steadfast. That's what it is. Uh, so yeah, definitely there's a six or lower with how much I lost by. And luckily I stick. There's lots of cheering when that dice went down. Uh, dead Doom Diver. And so Goblin, Goblin turn three. No animosity. Um, I mean, my chariot's going to get killed, so I just thought, look, I'm just going to park him right up in front of the Hellblaster, hoping for a misfire, and then I'll charge if he does misfire, but not holding much hope there. And these guys just swift reform and move as fast as they can towards the combat, at least to get in. So I managed to get tw in 12 inches of that unit, knowing that they're probably going to be needing some uh, BSB support. And magic was 5 to 2. Um... So I five diced, here we go, and he couldn't, he, he didn't get it, didn't dispel it, or tried, but didn't get it. So here we go, really saved me this game. <laughs> um, Rock Lobber at, aimed at this guy's head and uh, scattered and missed. Uh, my general kills his Arch Lector, so he goes down. And my Savages... As much as I could, I directed the ones that were in front of it at the hurricane. I mean, I, we got one up, one up, save knights over there. Um, I, I'm not because I've already was in combat. I'm just trying to remember, this is not the first round of combat. I don't think. Yeah, it isn't. So I've, I don't have my choppers rule anymore. So I'm just strength four. I'm, I'm really not going to make a dent on those one up, on the stank or the one up save knights. But the Hurricanum, I managed to kill it, which is great. Gets the uh, combat results up. So we actually ended up winning combat, which is great. So um, we couldn't pursue because of the stank, so we reform uh, into five wide just to get some ranks. Um, but yeah, you can see the War Altar's fled and so is the Inner Circles. War Altar is stubborn, but it's only got a leadership of like six or something, or five or whatever it is, without the Arch Lector. Empire turn 4, he uh, charges his peg in the back of my bunkers. Bunker. Uh, I was thinking about maybe fleeing, but look, yeah, we need the BSB. And I think we can hold for one turn. Uh, yeah, he doesn't miss fire. <laughs> he wipes that off. So I'm losing lots. Mate, be mild, I mean, I haven't been taking pictures here, but you can see my uh, trolls. Obviously, they've been failing their leadership force stupidity and just wandering off. Uh, he lines his cannon up. Uh, and shoots at it, and rolls a one to wound, so that's cool. Uh, the peg wins combat, um, we're steadfast though, I hold and I reform to face him. Now I don't have a picture, back in the main combat there, I mean the stank killed a few with a breath weapon I think, so I lost a couple of savages, but you know, we're, we're sticking around there. Uh, so Organ Goblin turn four, um, there's no movement, we're all in combat, so magic was 5 to 3, I 5 diced, here we go, and got it off, so my guys got re-rolls again. Um, the rock lobber aimed directly on top of the middle, of, uh, they've rallied, so I've put them right on top of the middle guy, it scattered 2, 
but managed to... So one was under the hole still, killed him. The other one on strength three, and he rolled a one to save, so ended up killing two. So that was good. They did pass their panic, though. Uh, with the peg knives, it's good. Um, yeah, he doesn't manage to do... I don't think he managed to do any wounds or if whatever, but with rank standard and BSB, we actually beat him, and we actually run him down. So that's great, but I did get out of my 12-inch bubble again. And uh, I can't remember if this wound was done now. Possibly I managed to get one wound through. I'm failing a, him failing a uh, one-up or two-up save or whatever with my big boss, uh, war boss, hitting him. But you know, I really regret taking the magic sword now because I can't I can't switch to my to great weapons with my black orc. So I've got nothing that can really hurt one-up saves. Uh, so he's in by turn five. He comes in with those three knights, the rear charge, um, and yeah, you can see there's no war altar. You failed to rally, and off he went. So he has uh, he only has one wound. Um, so he misfires on a ten or a miss, uh, misfire dice. He rolled a ten, so he did misfire his um, steam tank this turn, which is great. So he's just using the steam gun. Uh, and I think the amount of points he has, he only ends up having a strength two or three, so it definitely helped because it didn't do much damage to me. He aims the Hellblaster at my bunker of night goblins, and that's his role. <laughs> uh, there's the before shot. There's the after shot. <laughs> um, they need a six. Yeah, they need. They've got leadership six. Um, they roll a seven, and then but the re-roll with the BSB uh, roll a six, so they're hanging around, and their shaman's lost his hand. The cannon lines up on the um, trolls again, hits this time, uh, but only manages to roll a one for the wound, so he's down to <laughs> these trolls that are made of iron or something, which is great. Conserving points. Uh, managed to get another wound through on the steam tank. Well, that's it. Uh, look, and they kill a few orcs, um, probably with the steam gun mostly. Uh, we're steadfast, and we we pass our leadership nine. My BSB, uh, we we turn around and swift reform and head back to get into range again. Uh, I don't know what the magic phase dice were but yeah we threw them all at here we go and I got it got it off again so it's, it's a lifesaver this game for sure rock lobber at his hell blaster it's scattered and missed um yeah look we're losing some orcs here but we're hanging in at least hopefully through to turn six <laughs> so empire turn six hell blaster again into my bunker um after we distributed shots, um, yeah, the sh level two shaman's dead. Both of the other night goblins are dead. My BSB got some wounds, but I warded most of them except for one. So and he passed his leadership, so he's the only one left. Yeah, I lost some points there, but at least the BSB's alive. And then. Um, yeah, just combat, I guess, grind attacks and stuff like that. We're down to one rank. Um, you know, so we're steadfast here. There's one guy there holding us, holding us together in that second rank. Walking <laughs> Goblins turn six. I uh, get my charge, my BSB in to get a flank charge. Or recharge, I should say. Give me a bit of combat result. And we managed to get, here we go, off again. Um, but this time, I actually distribute my Lord's attacks at the Knights instead and actually do take out one of them at least. So in the end, I think we even won that combat. Um, yeah, but we look, it's turn six and that's the end of the game. So yeah, and that's just, I mean, geez, that's the uh, dead pile. Everything's over there. So I mean, by the numbers, it was actually victory to the Orcs, a 14-6 victory with a 20-0 system. Um, 
but only because there was you know dregs of the trolls left and those savages still there so i mean it was i think if we just kept playing it would have been interesting because i would not have anything to do with that stank so that was a really good game though um not much else to say apart from yeah we were pulling lot took a while to clean up all those figures <laughs> but yeah hope you enjoyed it it was good to get the orcs out again i can't wait till i finish painting them and they look as good as the empire do i think hope to see you next time thanks